please take your seat. Our next speaker is Vahed Tashkin. He is the man behind the Hushamadian website, which bring, is bringing back life in our Armenian villages prior to the genocide. It's an incredibly important site. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to actually be one of the contributors there, so this, the work I've written on the demographics of Karpet and Derzim uh, can all be found on the Hushamadian website. This is the importance I place to the work Vada is doing, is to, is to place that research there because I think it's the most appropriate place for it. So without further ado, I'm going to let Vada speak so that he has maximizes his time. Thank you. Thank you very much, George. So I'm not the only person behind Hushamadian. We, we are a group of persons, and, uh, but I'm the only person working full time on, the, on this job. The, the, full -time, the only full time employee in Hushamadian. Uh, so uh, when we started, I'm not. Oh, okay. Uh, so when, when we started Hushamadian in 2000. Uh, 10. Uh, our main idea, our main objective was to fill a gap, uh, a gap related to the domain of uh, Ottoman uh, Armenian studies. And uh, I think that there is a lack of knowledge about uh, the Ottoman Armenian uh, history. Uh, what was the life in uh, these or that villages uh, or town or cities? Uh, what was the social life? What was uh, the social environment of that area, of that specific uh, village or uh, town or city. Uh, what was the relations with the neighbors, the Kurds, the, uh, the Turks, the, the Greeks, the, the, the Syriacs? Uh, and so these are uh, all important questions. And uh, in the same time, I think that uh, it's key to understand uh, some other historical events related to the life of the, uh, to, to the history of uh, Ottoman Armenians. In other words, uh, there hasn't been a special effort both in the field of uh, Armenian studies and uh, Ottoman studies. Uh, of course, exceptions have to be respected. Uh, utilizing existing uh, very rich sources uh, to reconstruct the memory of uh, Armenian life in the Ottoman Empire. Uh, so, uh, when we started Hushamadia, uh, the idea was to fill uh, this void uh, through mainly through research, uh, through writing articles based on these rich sources uh, on uh, Ottoman Armenian history, uh, as well as uh, utilizing uh, or using uh, visual and uh, audio materials like uh, old photographs or uh, gravures or sketches uh, or uh, testimonies, uh, re re recorded testimonies, uh, animation films, uh, maps, etc. So, at the start, it was an academic preoccupation that gave birth to Shambhadian. Uh, but perhaps six years ago, we were a little bit naive uh, when we entered this immense world of Ottoman Armenians. So, our idea was to concentrate on one topic, that was the day, uh, to reconstruct the daily life of the Armenians in the Ottoman Empire. But this is an immense world where many things are interconnected and interweaved. And uh, one only has to, uh, to study one domain or one field in this immense area of Ottoman Armenians' uh, world. And, uh, and you will see immediately that you are connected uh, or other doors will be open in front of you and you will be connected uh, to other topics, not especially your main topic. So everything is uh, in one way uh, interconnected. Uh, and this happened also to Shamadian. Uh, and after a short period of time, uh, after the launch of the project, uh, there were some unforeseen or unexpected issues that came up, uh, some uh, unforeseen outcomes, uh, that many of them are related to the main topic of this conference, genealogy or family history. Uh, and so we are confronted to this new tense or new issues, and one of them is genealogy or family history. And uh, now, in our daily work in Ushamadian, uh, we, we deal directly or, di or, or indirectly to this uh, topic of genealogy or family history uh, of Armenians in the Ottoman Empire. Uh, so, uh, let's give you some examples and uh, 
And first, uh, under family history, or uh, constructing or reconstructing family histories, uh, family stories uh, uh, related to this main issue of family stories, uh, we started from the start of uh, the launch of the project to receive many letters from Turkey. And uh, many of them were written by descendants of uh, Muslim or Islamized Armenians. And uh, this number of letters was, were increased uh, when we started uh, uh, our, uh, to translate many articles, or uh, because the translation of Turkish, of, 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 uh, of uh, Hoshamadjan's articles started only uh, a year ago. So after the launch of this uh, Turkish uh, version, uh, the, the numbers were relatively increased. And uh, most of them, and you see in these letters, have very fragmented idea uh, or uh, information about their memory, their Armenian memory, their Armenian past. And uh, indeed, we cannot ask or, uh, or give information about, about uh, the information or the, the answers. Uh, we cannot give them uh, the information that they are, they are, they are requesting because some of them are very, uh, only a name of, of, of a family. Uh, they give us only a name of a family. But in the same time, uh, the Turkish version of, of, of our uh, website uh, is, is, a, is a space where, uh, where, we can, where these uh, people can get information about the Armenian life uh, uh, before 1915, uh, about the life of uh, these or that villages where their grandparents or their ancestors lived as, as Armenian. So here are some, uh, ex uh, so, and for that reason, most of the letters that we receive from them are thank you letters about uh, our, our work in Shamatia. So here are some examples of, uh, uh, this is the next one, uh, some examples of letters that we are receiving from them. Uh, so, uh, okay, uh, so I should remember, I, I have the, the copies of them. information about his family uh, who, 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 who were Armenians and uh, he's giving the name of the, the family name was Orasian and he's saying that they are from Bari and uh, more information given from the same person that Bari is saying that there is two Bari in, in, in Baru so we are from, uh, uh, from the Bari that is uh, located south of, uh, of, uh, of, of Baru, of the town of Baru. Uh, so he's looking information about the Orasian family because uh, his grand, uh, great grandfather uh, was an Orasian. And the second one uh, is uh, also uh, a letter from uh, from a little north from Malu, from Kharper, and uh, particularly from uh, the village of uh, of Zog. Uh, uh, and. Uh, and the only, the only information that he has is that his great grandparent is born in 1896. And uh, he's stating here that uh, he had no relatives. That means that he had no relatives uh, that lived with him after 1915. And the third one is in Turkey. So normally we receive letters in Turkish at the, at the, at the first period of time. Uh, uh, it was difficult for us to reply uh, directly to these letters uh, uh, written in, in, in Turkey. So it was, for some letters, there, there were no follow-ups. But now we have some volunteers from Turkey who are uh, uh, regularly answering to this kind of, uh, of uh, letters. So the third one is uh, uh, from someone from Malatya. And, uh, and uh, so he said that uh, his grandparents uh, were born in two different villages in Malatya, uh, which were populated by Alevis, are still populated by Alevi, uh, Alevi Kurds. And what he's saying that his, his grand, uh, grandmother uh, told him uh, that uh, the, the 
the, the people that came in this village uh, came from the plane. So he's answering some questions and, uh, that he has no answers until now, that in the plane uh, only Armenians were living. And uh, so why they came in, uh, in the mountains? Because this, this, this village is uh, located on the mountains. Uh, uh, am I Armenian? Uh, he's, he's saying. Uh, and uh, uh, then he's, he's, adding, uh, he's, he's, he's saying that uh, uh, anyway, um, uh, I like Armenians, I like Jews, and, uh, and uh, uh, it's never mind if I'm not Armenian. Uh, the main thing that uh, I, I like very much uh, uh, humanistics and philosophy. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a little funny, but at the same time it's symptomatic for this category of people that they don't want, they are cautious, still cautious, they don't make to, uh, they don't like to make very definitive statements about their uh, Armenian uh, origin. And the next one please. And, uh, uh, and sometimes uh, they, uh, excuse me, uh, So, at the same time, there is a thirst information uh, about the Armenian past. Uh, but, as I said, it's very difficult to us to, to reply uh, in details to their, to, their, uh, uh, to their letters, because we have also no information about this sort of family. Uh, but sometimes they can, they can themselves become the source of information. And this happened uh, with this story. So, uh, last year, uh, on our pages, we put uh, Uh, the picture is, is okay, oh, you know. Uh, so uh, it's, it's about a family from from Harker, from the, the, the city of Harker. Uh, uh, so the person sent sent to us many objects uh, from from next, next please from uh, many objects and photographs from from that uh, family in Harker. That now they are living in uh, in, in Nantes, in uh, north uh, west of France, and uh, so it was very rich materials. And, uh, and uh, the family or some members of the family are from the Syrian community of Harper. Uh, this, is, uh, this, this was a very little uh, uh, Syrian community living in, in the city of Harper. And they were very connected to the, to the Armenian life there. For example, uh, the, the Syriac uh, or Assyrian uh, students were going in Ar uh, Armenian schools. And uh, also there were intermarriages between Armenians and, uh, and Syriac, and this is one of the cases because this, this, this is mixed marriages between uh, the, uh, these objects came from both Armenian and uh, Syriac uh, uh, families. And uh, just uh, a few weeks after we, put, we displayed this, this page, uh, a letter came uh, from Turkey uh, uh, on our Facebook page uh, from a person uh, from Turkey, and uh, he added new materials from this same family uh, uh, on our Facebook page. Uh, sometimes there were the same pictures, sometimes there were the same persons, but different pictures, and uh, also a very beautiful picture that the original I had never seen before uh, uh, in, of, the, of the interior of the school of Asfaldabin church, the Assyrian church of Harthes. So, uh, for the purpose of this conference, I wanted to add these Facebook pictures on, on, uh, our, on this PowerPoint presentation, but when, when I opened it, I saw that it was removed. And uh, so the person sent to us these pictures only uh, before the wave of violence in Turkey, and uh, I don't know, maybe that was the reason that he removed them. Uh, yes. So the real challenge for us uh, is the incredible number of people, mainly from the USA, uh, who contact us regularly, uh, asking our help in uh, reconstructing their family histories, their family uh, genealogy. Uh, many of them have the disadvantage of not mastering the Armenian language, and uh, this is, of course, uh, the language of many uh, sources, many primary sources, uh, written in Armenian. Uh, therefore, our website re represents for uh, them a space where they can get information about regional or local histories of the Ottoman Empire, uh, the life of the Armenians, the general social context. And this knowledge of the context is very important for someone 
who tries to reconstruct his own family history or prepare a family uh, uh, tree dating uh, back to the Ottoman uh, Empire years. Uh, as I say, our, our, our sources uh, 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 we use uh, uh, mainly Armenian uh, written sources, and uh, one of the best ones are the Kushabania genre of books. Uh, this, for those who are not aware of this genre of books, this is, this is books that have written uh, from the 1920s onwards. Uh, there is some more than uh, 300 uh, books uh, of this genre, and on our website, uh, please, can, can you show the website where there is the list of all the Ushamadian genre of books? So, so these, these are books about this or that Armenian village or town or city. Uh, so this list of uh, this biography was prepared by our colleague, Miram Minasian from Aleppo, now living in, in, in Yerevan. Uh, so it's well, they were written by the survivors, uh, mainly by the survivors about their native uh, town or village, and it's like memory books uh, about a lost land, a city, a town, a village, uh, with all uh, its local history, the traditions, the churches, the political parties, uh, the families, the houses, uh, uh, the the schools, etc. So here is the list. Uh, Yes. Uh, so this is the English version. Of course, uh, the books, uh, most of them were written in, in Armenian, uh, and uh, only few of them were translated into English. Uh, and uh, in our case, for example, if uh, we write something uh, about the, the schools in Palu or uh, the trades in, uh, in, in, in Maraj, uh, we put as much as possible personal names, family names, uh, in, in these articles. But at the end, uh, our job is not to translate these whole books. Our, our job is to uh, write articles based on these primary sources or on these very uh, tremendous sources uh, uh, on this or that uh, uh, topic related to the Ottoman Armenians uh, in general. Uh, yes. But it exists many uh, other sources, uh, many other unpublished works uh, related to the Ottoman Armenians. And uh, with the remaining time, uh, I will emphasize on this, uh, some of these uh, uh, unpublished sources that we came across during our uh, work in Ushamadian. Uh, and this, this is sources that can help also people who are trying to reconstruct their family histories or trying to, to, make, uh, to prepare family trees. Uh, perhaps the most astonishing thing that we observed during the five or six years of Ushamadian uh, is the richness of family uh, collections of different kind of uh, items, family items originally from the Ottoman Empire. Therefore, the family homes, uh, the family nucleus, uh, are the places where there are still good chances uh, to find outstanding materials, photos, uh, objects, unpublished works, manuscripts uh, about uh, life of Armenians in the Ottoman Empire. Uh, and this is the reason why that a, a couple of months ago we opened a new section in our website, it's called Open Digital Archives, where we are displaying all the materials that we collected uh, across the world uh, people are sending to us uh, the copies of the materials, or we are uh, looking at them by organizing events in different countries. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, not only uh, we are displaying these materials, these objects, or these manuscripts, or these photographs, but uh, in the same time we are uh, adding the family history about uh, 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 related to the objects, or the family micro histories related uh, to that. Uh, to that uh, objects or uh, photos or manuscripts. Mm. And on this specific, uh, uh, on this specific uh, project, we are also working with uh, students, with schools, uh, especially Armenian schools across the world. Uh, so the idea was to make uh, the students as participators to, the, to, this, to, to our efforts to reconstruct the Armenian memory of the Ottoman Empire. 
to reconstruct the Armenian life in Ottoman Empire. So the students are themselves bringing uh, objects or uh, other items from their family homes or from the neighbors, from, from their own circles, and uh, writing st uh, uh, the, the stories of the of disordered family, and we are adding all this on, on the website, on this uh, new section of our website. Uh, and what is important on this issue is the fact that uh, all, this all these stories, these manuscripts, these photos, these objects uh, are becoming available uh, on the website. And I'm sure that this public accessibility uh, will help in many ways those persons who are looking for information of their families back in the Ottoman Empire. And we, uh, I'm sure that it will open also uh, new avenues in research on genealogy and reconstructing family memories. And here are some examples. Please, the first one. Yeah. Next week. Uh, 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 the PowerPoint presentation, please. The PowerPoint. This is it. Oh, okay. uh, so th this is a picture that uh, uh, a person from, from the California sent to us. Uh, it's, it's the Protestant uh, church core in Anita. Uh, and, uh, next, please. And we have also. <laughs> We have also all the names uh, in the back of the picture, which is fantastic for those who, who work with, with photos, but it's not complete. Uh, and uh, we, dis uh, we put this, this picture two years ago on our website, and uh, uh, last year, let's see, uh, we received a letter uh, from USA uh, from, from a woman uh, saying that uh, she found uh, her grandmother in this picture, and uh, it was the first time that she was seeing her grandmother at this age in, in, in Eintal. And she added new information uh, on the picture, persons that uh, were not able to recognize or identify the picture. And so it was an interactive uh, exchange which helped us to reconstruct the life of this specific picture. Uh, next, please. Uh, 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 yes. This is a family tree, uh, many of you, uh, I, I'm sure that uh, they, they're also aware or they, 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 they also seen such, such documents. And uh, this one uh, is uh, of the Misakian family in, in Harker, and it goes back to the, to the 17th century, and we find all, uh, only the, the main names, which, which was very traditional at that time. So it was prepared uh, by this generation of survivors uh, from the 1920s onwards, and uh, this uh, document, uh, we find it uh, for, uh, during an, an event that we organized in, in Lebanon, in, in Beirut, in an Armenian school. A woman came uh, with many other materials from Harvard, and she, she brought also this, this family tree. And uh, such events we organize uh, every year, uh, many times. Uh, we, we organize in, in Beirut, in Yerevan, in Vienna, in, uh, two times in Paris. So uh, we are calling the people uh, to the Armenians of the, of the local community to come with different objects or photos or manuscripts. And uh, we digitize uh, uh, directly on, on the place where we are uh, working and uh, we are giving, giving back the, the same documents to, to the owners. And uh, the next please. Uh, so this is another document. This is a family. Uh, yes, another family tree from from Chemushka, uh, from Chemushkazak, from a village of Chemushkazak, Sisna village, 